Hey, howdy, hi, it's me, VA, and I'm going to give you a short little video of the scarves I have. I think I'm going to call it Scarves in Motion. I'm not going to do any talking, just, oh, maybe I will do some talking. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to do the thin ones first because I'm not really dressed for them, but I made these just so that they would um, kind of just go with your everyday wear. As you can tell, they don't really provide too much warmth. They're more just for decorative. This one I have actually sewn little uh, snowflake obsidian stones into. And this is the sunset. It's just called Thin Sunset, just to give you an idea of the length and the width on those, really thin. Super duper soft. I made these just for maybe kind of like just little flip arounds like this. If you want, you can double up like so kind of just meant to sit right on top of uh, coats. I don't, sometimes I don't want something that comes all the way down here or wraps around my neck 5,000 times. It's just nice little warm scarves, something to keep warm back there. Soft browns, I believe, because it is so, so soft super duper freaking soft. But again, this is just meant to lay, uh, maybe do a once around, or if you wanna do a knot with like this, just around, just to kinda sit on top in the collar of your jacket. This is a, the sunset, the thick one. Um, it's a little bit thicker. So you can do that, wrap around. Again, just giving you an idea of the length and the width. Um, another great scarf, I love these. The one thing about this is this is so incredibly soft, this middle section. The outside is uh, more of a cotton I forget what I named this, hmm. But yeah, now we start getting into the length where they wrap around a couple times. Oh, what did I name this little guy? Hmm. I have no idea, but it's with the pink and blues. Maybe festive. I think that's what I named it, festive. Get that kitty out of the tree. One, two, three. Now we're getting into the super duper longer ones. This one is Warm Tones. Um, again, just a lot of wrapping around. You can tell, I love, this is a great convertible scarf I love. I just knew this, just figured out this twist. You put one side in one hole and then you put another side in the other hole and you get a nice little double not there. Probably could have done that a little neater, but again, these are just giving you ideas of the size, the length of the scarves. Loving this one. This is made after the first one I made. I made it this bright orange color. I just love the whole frilly crazy party girl feel to it, the blowing in the wind. So I love these. This is the one that started it all, my crazy scarves. So as you can tell, just good length. If you like, if you're like the wraparound person and you like a lot of length with your scarves, this would probably be the one for you. This one is my massive, massive monster one. It's about almost 100 inches in length. It's called Better Days, I believe. It's got a lot of pink, blue, and red in there. I mean, this thing is gonna wrap around for days. 
and days, which is why it's more expensive than the other ones because it took forever to make. Uh, this is made with hmm, one, two, three, four different yarns. It's a great one, very, very fun. I love it. The reason why I made these scarves was uh, I was a, used to be a big fan of feather boas until my friend Judy let me know how those feathers were harvested to make feather boas. And I put my head together and I just really thought about a better way. So I still feel like you get the party festiveness with the fringe, it blows in the wind in the convertible or on the motorcycle or just at a football game. But you don't have to harm a bunch of birds to look happy, festive. So there, that's the end of the video. Thank you for joining me. Hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Peace, love and rocks. Bye.